Guys, for cheap and reliable coins, check out MuleFactory.com and use the code OWENFIFA at checkout for a discount. You can see, guys, they have loads of different coins up. Obviously, the prices will change as the game comes out more. It's cheap, fast, reliable. They do comfort trade, 100% legit, straight to your account for the cheapest price on the whole internet. Hey guys, welcome to Earth Day. Welcome back to our first ever FIFA 22 video. This video is going to be how to make coins on the web app. We've literally just got the game. We just got some insane like pulls in our starter picks. Obviously, the coins aren't going to be there yet because people are still buying stuff, listing stuff and whatever. But the first thing you want to do, guys, when you get in the game is list all your cards up. So I've saved some back, obviously, to list them up because we need to get rid of stuff faster because these things are going to drop fast at the start. We just want quick sales. Obviously, Ariola is going to be like 3K probably. Yeah, three and a half. People aren't going to have the coins yet to buy these cards. So it's going to be the first hour of just boredom, really, of listing stuff up. But I'm going to show you guys, once you've got your coins and whatever, what you want to do um, to make some coins. I think the Locatelli is a bit cheap. I'm going to go like one seven on mine. I know it's probably really stupid to do it at this point, but we just want, obviously, quick sales like to get the coins back but yeah guys i'm going to show you guys now what you want to do at the start of the game so the first tip i've got for you guys is this filter you want to go gold defender bpl and if you look at the cheapest gold bpl defenders right now they're all really low so the first thing you could do guys is go and invest in some of these if you wanted to like obviously i wouldn't advise that with my coins straight away but you can go and buy some of these cards definitely for deals to hold on to because these are going to be worth way more than this when people start building the starter team stuff like that and then everyone's buying the packs for really cheap obviously buying all the cards on the market stuff like that but you want to try and find some good players here like this for 700 and just keep searching on the market because there will be deals that flash up obviously people are a bit daft at the start they get the new game and they just start listing stuff for stupid prices obviously you can go a little bit high like cedric here i mean i think that's pretty cheap for him at the start of the game the thing is at the moment everything's getting spammed on the market there's only 800 auctions when i first got on so that is why things are so like expensive at the moment obviously you can flip that if you wanted to but there's not a lot of coins in it it's very difficult at the thought in the first few minutes like same here you can go with um strikers um and just put in prem 700 you'll see there's loads of different strikers here already but you can do the um x and a refresh thing which is really good so i'd recommend guys going to find a player that you can snipe or look for a player that's going to be a good for a starter team people are going to want to buy you know stuff like that you don't want to go and put in like he coins into all I can do. Lacazette for 650 is definitely a buy. Even if it's not a sale right now, it will be in the future. If you look here, he is going for about 800 coins, it says. But I know that will sell on for like 1.3 in a little while. So that's fine by me. I will just hold on to that. Same with like Che Adams here. These are all cheap deals. Like for Che Adams, 650. I can't afford it, but I would go and sell it on for like 1.1. But yeah, there's loads of different stuff that you can do here. Then the second method, guys, that I would do, it's going to be two methods quickly a day. I will try and get another video out later. I can't promise yet, though. But you want to go into here and you want to put silver BPL and just check the market because right now they're really expensive. You can see no one's opening silver packs. So you want to keep checking that every now and again. But what I would do right now is go and snipe some consumables because people are going to be listing these up really cheap at the start. People have a clue what's going on with them. If you look here, Hunter cards are currently going for around 4k, I believe, 4.4k. Like you can sit on here, I mean, look, both of these are probably buys at 3k. You'll be able to get them for even cheaper than that, though, because people are going to be packing these up 2.5k there. They won't really sell straight away, but again, after a little bit of the game being out, you'll be able to make a load of coins on them. So make sure you do keep an eye out for that. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a quick one of how to make a load of coins when the game first comes out. I'll be up to about 100k a day probably doing the little X and A filters, sniping stuff. I did get some really sick starter packs. If you want to see that video, guys, of my reactions to the packs, make sure you do let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all.